This is the world famous Boofwang UV5R handheld walkie talkie ham radio. And this is the almost as world famous Boofwang BFF8HP handheld walkie talkie ham radio. The Boofwang UV5R costs about $18 of monies. And the Bufwang Corporation of Japan claims that this radio can squirt 5 watts of RF electricities. The Bufwang BFF8HP costs around $60 of monies. And the Bufwang Corporation claims that it can squirt 8 watts of RF electricities. There is also a new 8-watt version of the UV5R that is simply labeled as a regular UV5R but with 8 watts, and that costs about $35 of monies. But I do not have one of those, so I am not talking about that. As you can see with your own matching pair of bulbous oculi for all intensive purposes, both of these radios pretty much look identical. They both have exactly 14 buttons on the front, they both have an identification sticker, and they both have a push-to-talk trigger as well as various other buttons. Furthermore, upon closer examination, you will find that the menus are also identical. However, there is one sub-menu item that is different between these two radios. On the UV5R, when you go to the power squirting menu, you are presented with two options, low and high. Whereas on the BFF8HP, you will discover three options, low, high, and medium. Although I should mention that I have been presented with unconfirmed reports that some BFF8HP radios come with only the low and high RF electricity squirting options. But as you can see with your very own eye holes, this one has three options. And it is at this point that I feel that it is my duty as a licensed radio operator to make it very clear that neither of these two radios actually squirts the number of RF electricities that the Bufwang Corporation of Japan claims. As you can see, the UV5R, whilst set to high power, squirts just over four watts of RF electricities and the BFF8HP squirts just over 6 watts of warm RF juice. Neither live up to the hype and circumstance presented to us from the Bufwang Corporation. However, as a YouTube's superstar, it is also my duty to point out that in the real world, meaning when either of these radios is not connected to any measuring devices and instead they are actually being used to talk with humans, most people, most of the time, if not all of the time, will not notice a difference between 4 watts and 6 watts or 5 watts and 8 watts. When using an antenna attached to the radio, such as this, which is the type of antenna that comes with both of these radios. In other words, 7 or 8 watts is not going to get you any more fars than 3 or 4 watts, or at least not that your human ear will discern or notice. However, if your radio is connected to an external antenna, such as on the roof of your car or even on the roof of your house, you may notice a slight difference, maybe, especially if you are not using a high-quality, low-loss coax cable. But otherwise, that extra couple of watts between the two radios is going to make zero difference in FARs most of the time and in most situations. However, what is even more important is that if you transmit on your radio a lot, you will notice a difference in the life. Of your battery. And this is because talking to your friends while squirting two or three watts of RF electricities will suck the juice of your battery much more slowly than when talking to your friends whilst squirting six or seven watts. So if you insist upon squirting more RF electricities with a radio such as the BFF8HP, even though I just told you that it did not make any noticeable difference, you should get a larger battery. 
like this, which costs only $20 of monies. Affiliate link below. One of these batteries can hold about two times more electricity's juice, and it can last all night long and perform much longer than the weak and puny battery that comes with either the UV5R or the BF F8HP. This larger, more manly battery even has a USB-C's hole so that you can very easily charge the battery with any USB-C's charger and cable that you may have lying around your house. No need to ever endanger your family again with one of these stupid fire hazards. In closing, to sum it all up, what I am saying is, these two radios, for all intensive purposes, are pretty much identical. And for most people, in most situations, most of the time, the tiny amount of additional RF electricity's sauce is not worth the much higher price tag of the BF F8 HP.